So, as I am sure many of you are aware about, a couple of weeks ago, I completely got hacked and lost access to my channel. It was unfortunately turned into one of those disgusting SpaceX Elon Musk clone weird sites that you've seen about. I don't really know the reason why, but unfortunately, I fell victim to one of these scams. And considering a lot of people that I've been talking to still don't really know what happened or why, I thought I'd make this little video to basically say exactly what happened over the last couple of weeks, and of course give some channel updates on stuff that it's going to be changing in the future. Uh, so let's start with the obvious, my, my channel getting hacking. Let's just start with that. So there's no beating around the bush. I lost my channel because I fell for a sponsorship scam. Absolute hook, line, sinker, rod, and copy of Angling Times. Now, this company reached out to me about a month before I lost my account, and they did everything right. They set up a really good offer. We haggled, we talked about things, we got excited. It genuinely, and I cannot stress this enough, it genuinely seemed so real. They were doing things that you wouldn't expect people People who wanted to scam you would do. They haggled on the price, for example. They talked about dates, they talked about upload schedules and all of that kind of stuff. And from all of the stuff that they were sending me, it really seemed genuine. Now, the people who reached out to me were Black Wukong and wanted me to have early access to their game. Obviously, it wasn't actually Black Wukong. But considering that I've been doing a lot of Soulsborne games recently, it kind of was also the perfect game to, to tease me in with. And I was dead excited at the opportunity. I can't lie, chat. I was really looking forward to this. But a long story short, it was not genuine and they got exactly what they wanted to out of me, unfortunately. Which means that as soon as I did something I probably shouldn't have done, I lost my channel a couple of days later. But a long story short, I fell for it, absolutely fell for it, and then I found out that I had three Trojans in my PC. Uh, one of them was a phishing Trojan, so I just lost access to all of my things. Two factor didn't matter, security questions, phone number, none of it mattered. They changed it and it was a real, real scary time for me and for the channel. And roughly a week and a week and a half later of proper panicking and worrying and emails and all of that kind of stuff, we got our channel back and I am slowly starting to put it back to the way it was. Uh, unfortunately, one of the things that I had to do was completely wipe my PC, so I lost, oh, I lost a lot more than I'd care to admit. Fortunately, Yakuza was the last video out before the hack happened, so I'm very glad that I didn't lose that footage or that would have absolutely killed me. Thankfully, though, that is now a problem that has been rectified. I am back in control of the YouTube. All of the videos for some reason were hidden and not removed. It is almost a genuinely nice thing that the hackers did that they didn't remove the videos, just kind of unlisted them because that was the thing that I was worried about the most. But thankfully, and I, I, I count my blessings here, none of my YouTube videos were really that affected. Of course, when I put them all back online, they basically all were dead on launch. But I'm counting my blessings. It could have been worse and it's just so nice to be back in control and back making content again. So as far as why I was hacked, it was basically, unfortunately, me and a couple of people falling for a really good scam. And I also didn't really know it was a thing, I can't lie. It might sound a bit stupid for somebody being in this line of work, but I did not think that sponsorship scams were really a thing like that. It wasn't until after I'd been hacked that I'd heard about all of the other YouTubers that had unfortunately fallen for scams like this as well. As I said, we are back in control. The grind never stops, and we will be continuing the grind, making videos, new games, new content, and stuff like that as well. And that is a perfect segue, actually, onto a little bit more of a channel update now. Some things are going to be changing and have recently just kind of been tweaked over the last couple of weeks. Unfortunately, the first thing is some slightly bad news that I'm actually quite gutted about. Unfortunately, as I said, one of the things that I had to do to basically make sure that my PC was healthy and get rid of all of the malware and the Trojans that I got from it was I had to completely wipe it. Every single thing was removed. I could not keep a thing, which means I lost quite a lot of my footage for some of my grinds. I lost all of the footage from my portal video. I lost all of the footage for my new Vegas videos, for the Bioshock Infinite videos, which means that I am sorry to say that currently a DLC video for New Vegas and for Bioshock Infinite won't be happening. I know a lot of people have been requesting that since I did part one and part two with obviously the base game of both, but unfortunately I don't have the footage for it anymore, which means I can't make the video. What I will have to do at some point is manually remove the achievements, go back, redo them, and then make grinds for them in the future. But I'll be honest, folks, that isn't going to be happening for a little while. Unfortunately, I've had to move on and I'm kind of halfway 
way through other games and working on other series and it just isn't feasible for me to drop that right now to go back to do games that I've technically already done. A little bit of bad news, unfortunately the DLC videos for Infinite and New Vegas aren't going to be coming anytime soon and I probably wouldn't expect them this year at the very latest. And that nicely moves us on to the subject of DLC. When I cover DLC and up until quite recently I would make a separate video on it so say Fallout, I would do Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3 base game, then Fallout DLC video separated. And the reason why I did that was because a lot of the time the DLCs have a lot of content and a lot of different content from the base game that deserves their own video, that deserves kind of a dedicated section where I get to properly go into them, talk about them, talk about the story as I normally do. But that is being changed now and I'm no longer going to be separating the base game from the DLC. If I cover a game that has achievements in the DLC, it will be covered with the base game in one video and it will be an entire package sealed and ready to go. Everything is going to be one video from start to finish, every achievement, every task done. I'm changing this for a couple of reasons. One, I feel like having one video with every achievement start to finish is always better than having separate videos. Number two, another Fallout New Vegas or Bioshock Infinite problem won't happen if I lose the footage. Everything is there and ready and, you know, there won't be any separation needed. And making one longer video is actually easier than making two full featured chapters on the same game. And I've already implemented this with Bloodborne and Control. I covered all of the DLC in the base game in the one video, so that is going to be the new system moving forward. I'm sure you understand and I feel like this can only be good for the content. So thumbnails is something else that I just wanted to very quickly mention upon as well. Nothing too much to say here, but I have changed the thumbnails over the last couple of months. As you no doubt may have seen, I have been experimenting with the design of my thumbnails. I'm very, very territorial and passionate about thumbnails. They always have to look right. And recently, they just haven't been doing it for me. I feel like I could be branding them better and whatnot. And recently, I feel like I have found the perfect layout, the perfect format that kind of ticks all the boxes and I feel like is a good representation of what the achievement grind is, what my channel is, and what my content is. Uh, so just so you folks are aware moving forward that the thumbnails will look slightly different, but hopefully will still be recognisably me. Um, so just to keep you folks updated, because I have had a couple of messages from people saying that they didn't know I uploaded because my thumbnails have changed, because my profile picture has changed and whatnot as well. So just keep your eye out for the new thumbnails. I hope you enjoy it. I like them. I think they're the best they've ever been. But uh, yes, these are the ones that are staying. And the last thing that I wanted to very quickly talk about today was the Patreon. Now, I'm going to hold my hands up. This is completely my fault. I have neglected the Patreon. So to make it fair for the extraordinarily kind people that are still supporting me on Patreon, I'm pretty much going to be removing every tier but one, the 4 dollars tier, and basically Patreon is now just going to be early access to the achievement grinds. Not the most ideal thing I know, but as I said, I hopefully will be bringing Patreon back to glory at some point. But I need to keep it feasible, and I can't put in the work in to it right now because I need to worry about my main channel but that isn't fair on you folks so it is going to be changing to early access to the achievement grinds and that will be it moving forward for a little while until I can get back into a form of routine where I can put some focus on it but there we go folks that is pretty much it just a couple of things nothing really bad other than the hacking situation itself but just some stuff that I feel like it would be best for you lot to know to keep you lot, lot in the loop and uh, most importantly thank you all so so much now when I realized I lost my YouTube channel, I went straight to panic mode. I freaked out. I was not doing well. When I thought I'd lost my work, my job, everything that I'd been working for, when I thought I'd just lost it like that, um, I, I was not doing well. I wasn't sleeping. I was barely eating. I was having panic attacks. I, I really was not doing well. But you lovely lot absolutely came through in spades. Not only is it still weird that I get to say that this is my job, this is my full-time job, is grinding achievements for the internet, but to have so much incredible support from so many people, whether you're just watching the YouTube videos, whether you comment, whether you was on the Twitter helping me get my YouTube channel back, whether you joined the streams or the Discord, thank you all so much so so much losing my channel really really gave me motivation to come back with a bit of a vengeance i can't lie it really motivated me in the way that i realized what it would be like to lose this so thank you all so so much for your support i don't know if i would have gotten through without you i don't know if i would have gotten through this without you you all really came in clutch and i had so many messages from amazing people just asking me if i'm all right if i need anything if there's anything that they can do to help my situation and it was it was 
honestly overwhelming. Her really overwhelming. So from the bottom of my heart and my rehydration units, thank you all so, so much. You folks being here means that I get to live out my dream. I get to do what I want to do for hopefully as long as I can do it. And uh, hopefully you folks can enjoy the content along the way. But I've taken up far too much of your time today, folks. I just wanted to give a little, little, little bit of an explanation on everything that's kind of been going on recently. So I hope you consider yourself clued in. And uh, more importantly, thank you all once again. And I cannot wait to see you hopefully in the next achievement grind. Uh, the next achievement grind will be on Sunday. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. A very good one. So hopefully I'll see you then, folks. But until then, have yourselves a lovely, lovely rest of your week. And uh, yeah, take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.